Hey guys, welcome back for another review. You'll have to excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. It's kind of been a beast of a cold, but I'm at the tail end of it. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the OPI Summer Collection for 2024. We are into the summer collections. This is the My Me Era collection, and I have a lot more collections that have arrived also. I have the Orly collection, I have Olive and June, I have Cirque Colors, which is our Vice collection. I might get on that next because those go kind of quickly. Comment down below what you want next because I take that into consideration and I will get that up for you but I know a lot of you have been waiting for this OPI summer collection review <laughs> I've been getting messages and it's just been a little crazy time of life May is insane we had our adult married kids move in with us for the summer because they're working and we had theater performances theater tryouts choir tryouts cheerleading tryouts we had all these things <laughs> Um, and so we are done with it all today. It's officially like the first day of summer And so I'm back at it and I'm gonna get content coming up a little more quickly for you guys I am going out of town soon though So hopefully I can get a lot done But anyway the shirt I've had for a long time, so I probably won't link it I will link my jewelry down below and I am wearing the Maracuja juicy lip plump on my lips and I will put the name down below because I can't read it right at this moment but love these so much I actually want to get some spring and summer colors that are a little more bright because I just have a few nudes but I love these so so much it's a really glossy shiny it's kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss mixed together but a little more opaque so I love those if you haven't tried them give them a try what I'm wearing on my nails is the baby sister of <laughs> the Orly Kaleidoscope Eyes, at least in my opinion. It's called Sea Blossom and it's from their spring collection. I have a review of that collection and so you can go check that out there, but I love, love these kind of light pinks, so fun. Let's get into the collection that you have all been waiting for. This is the OPI collection. There's 12 polishes. A lot of them are kind of primary colors which I wasn't super, super stoked about, but I do love that there's a lot of creams in here. I do have quite a few comparisons for you guys. I will try to talk through those quickly, but hopefully that will help you decide whether you wanna pick these polishes up or not. They are available at Beyond Polish. You can use my code GOLARI10. Let's get that all of the way and start talking about the colors. First up is As Real As It Gets, and it's this really saturated white polish with a touch of gray. I like polishes like this. OPI does have a few, so obviously we'll compare them, but the format on this one one's really nice. It's a little bit thicker, so I think you're going to get this opaque in two to three coats depending on how you apply it, but it really does have a nice formula. I also like that you can tell it's gray even though it's like the lightest gray that you can have, and I think this is fun for summer. It made me think, oh, I haven't really worn any of these gray polishes that OPI has in the summertime, but it might be a fun time to pull them out, especially if you like neutrals. But let's see how it compares to other colors. I was able to pull three that were pretty close. I just want to say before I get into this that these are all very close they're just slight differences but really they're super super close so my boyfriend scales walls I want to say is like a hint more blue I'm not sure if that's coming across on the camera set apart by tile art I feel like as real as it gets has a little bit better formula than that one but that's a really nice one and it's pretty dang close to that one and then I can only wear OPI is the darkest of them all but hopefully you can see all those there and decide if you want to get this one and like I said if you like neutrals you'll probably like this one too then we have BFFR <laughs> I'm not all up on the abbreviations, but I'm not sure what that stands for. I'll probably look it up. I didn't beforehand, but is it B for real? I don't know. That's what I would guess, but I could totally be wrong. But this is a nice yellow. I love that it's a little bit cool toned. Essie came out with one like this, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I really, really love the cool toned yellows, and this one is a little bit more mid-tone as well. It's got a really nice formula that builds up, and I do have some comparisons. I pulled out Tell Me About It and Meet a Boy as Cute as Can Be, and they're a little bit lighter than this. So they are different, and so I pulled out the ones that were closer in color tone to this. They're more of a mid-tone, and let's look at those. So I compared it to Meditation Haven. That's the new one from Essie that I called my Banana Laffy Taffy shade, and it is a little bit lighter and cooler, and I do like that one the best out of all of them, and the formula on that one is just fantastic. Probably a little better than B. FFR. And then Don't Tell a Soul, and you can see I just can't cope with Cabana, and those are a little bit warmer that you can see there. Now, I wanted to say too, I was scrolling through Instagram and came across Polish Lab Rats comparison of Make Me Daisy. I think that's how you say it. And that one looked very, very close. I didn't pull that one out. Let me, let me grab it. Hang on. 
Okay, I missed it because it's not there for some reason. Ah, oh, that drives me crazy when I can't find polishes sometimes. But that one looks like exactly the same. So you might not need this one if you already had that one. So kind of interesting that they had it because I feel like that one's a little bit newer. But anyway, I'll let you decide. Out of all of these, I do prefer the Essie one just because it is a little bit cooler toned and I will definitely be wearing that this summer. It's going to be so beautiful. Then we have another yellow called Lookin' Cuticle. And I think that name is adorable and super creative. And this one's an interesting yellow. It's a little bit dirtier, a little bit muddier, a little swampy leaning in my last review. I think I described that as pukey. <laughs> But I like those terms a little bit better, a little muddier. So it has a little bit of brown green hint to it. That makes it a little bit different. And the formula on this one's really great too. Half of these polishes have this really nice Crelly formula that's so easy to apply and work with and just actually really fun to apply. And this has that formula, but it builds up really nicely. So let's look at the comparisons that we have. So I compared it to Neverodola's Moments. That's lighter, but still kind of the same muddy tone. And then Ochre the Moon, which it really reminded me of, that one's definitely more green. Same with Expressy Taxi Hopping, which the, pretty much the same as the Ochre the Moon. And those have a very similar formula as well. So kind of an interesting shade. I like that it's not more muddy than it is, but it's a little bit different. I do feel like this is a little bit fallish, so I probably won't be wearing it now. And I don't honestly think that I'll reach for it in the fall. As you'll see in my picture, these colors just don't do it for my skin tone. It's just not a color that I like on me so that's why I don't wear them but these shades might look good on you you might have a different skin tone than me and I feel like as I'm getting older I'm getting a little more purple toned a little more purple hue in my skin and so my tastes are changing a little bit but honestly I don't think I've ever thought these were looked great on my skin tone so I probably won't be wearing this one but I'm just saying that so you know if you have a different skin tone that it might look good on you. So that's that one. So nothing that I'm like overly excited about right now, but let's keep going. Fill and Fire is this orange. So we're kind of going through the rainbow with the primary colors. Uh, this one is a little bit muddy leaning as well. So I do feel like it has like that brown green hint to it. This one has an amazing Crelly formula, just like the other one I talked about, which is so easy to apply and fun to work with. So I love that about it. It really was a joy to apply and it build up nice in two coats. You might need three depending on how you apply it. Same thing, this one just does not do anything for my skin tone, so I probably won't be wearing it, but that doesn't mean that you can't. And let's look at comparisons here. So I compared it to No Tan Lines and that one's lighter and more yellow. Have your Panatone, I'm probably not saying that right is a little darker and a little more muddy, so it has a little bit more brown. Summer in Love and Having a Blast is brighter, typical orange. And so I just wanted you to see the differences there. So this one is a little bit unique, I think, and different than anything that OPI has, but like I said, these colors just really aren't for me. So I didn't get overly excited about this one. Let me know if you like colors like this. Priceless with two dollar signs. This is next green. This is kind of a swampy leaning green, but not super swampy. So this one is a little bit muddy too. I don't wear colors like this. This won't look good on my skin tone. Uh... Yeah, anyway, not super excited about this one, mainly just because of color, and that's obviously just a personal opinion, but the formula is fantastic, you guys. It's that lovely Crelly formula. I don't know what they have done this year, but really, I think you gotta give some of these a try because that formula is just so fun. I actually enjoyed swatching these, and I felt like they dried down pretty nicely. Sometimes when you have a Crelly formula, it can take a little bit longer to dry, but this one dried down really nice and applied super evenly and was super buildable, so I did love and enjoy that about it. So let's look at comparison because we have quite a few of these greens, especially in the OPI line. So I compared it to I'm So Swamped. It's very, very, very close, just a touch darker. I don't think I've ever worn that color, but I will say it's an interesting color. SE Feelin' Just Lime is a lighter green, but it's close, and OPI Make Rainbows. I don't know, I threw that one in there. <laughs> it's a bright green with some warm shimmer, so that is a little bit different, but it's the same kind of mid-tone as this one. So hopefully those comparisons are helpful, and this is the green one. This is my me area, so this is the namesake of the collection. This does have a little bit of white in the base, so it's a little bit brighter, and it's a really nice coral that's very neutral between orange and pink, so it's kind of somewhere in between. Love shades like this. Do we have a lot of them? Yes, we do. This has a really nice formula. It's not as crelly as the other ones, but it's so buildable, and it's pretty much your typical OPI formula that's just reliable and easy to work with. It has a really nice glossy formula as well, so let's look at the comparisons. I will mention first I didn't throw in Cajun Shrimp because I know I'm going to get asked about that. This one's lighter. That one has quite a bit more red, so I didn't put it in there. I pulled in the ones that I found were 
were closest from the OPI and SE line, so let's look at those. I compared it to Live Love Carnival. That one's the closest, but it maybe is a touch orange. The temperature is rising, and that one's more orange coral. We Seafood and Eat It is a more coral red, kind of like Cajun shrimp as well. And comparisons from Essie are Cute as a Button is a little more, and I think that's why I like Cute as a Button so much, because I love that it's a little more pink leaning. Love that one the best out of all of these, although I do really love my knee era, this new one. And then Come Here is more red, and Rose to the Occasion is more red as well. So those are the differences. I really tried to pull out so many corals, and those were the closest that I found in my collection. But yeah, we have a lot of these. If you're just starting out collecting nail polish, though, definitely pick this one up. You definitely need a coral in your collection. Maybe you'll look at those comparisons and think you need this one too, just because it's beautiful. <laughs> and maybe slightly different, but there's quite a few that came pretty close. This is Dream Come Blue, and this was the first polish that I actually put a big heart on it. I usually go through and write my polishes with all the comparisons and everything, and I'll put like a big heart against the ones that are my favorites so I can remember in the end. <laughs> but usually when I'm doing the review, I can just look at them and know which ones are my favorites. But I did put a big heart against this one. I do like the coral one too so far, but this one is really beautiful. It's, just, it's a lighter, brighter, more fresh blue, and it is a little more cooler. Not cool enough that it's more purple leaning like a lot of different OPIs. So it's kind of in between which I liked because it's a little bit different than some that OPI has that are more like your sky blue that are a little bit warmer. And it did completely remind me of one that I absolutely love that's an oldie but a super goodie that I'm definitely not getting rid of. I think you'll know which one I'm talking about, but I'll talk about it in a minute. But the formula on this one is so buildable and really glossy and beautiful and typical OPI formula. And so this one was really, really nice. I don't wear a ton of blues, but I'll definitely be pulling this one out this summer. I'm liking them a little bit more, especially these ones that are a little bit cooler toned. So let's look at those comparisons because I wanted you to see how it compared. These are the closest that I had. I pulled out Rich Girls and Po Boys. I have to say that slow because I always say Poi Boys. <laughs> and that one's a little warmer. And then Pacific Blue. That's the one I'm talking about, you guys. I'm always trying to find something that's close to that. It does not quite match it completely. That one does have a little more purple and it's very electric. It's a little bit striking but Dream Come Blue definitely comes close. So I was happy about that one. I love Pacific Blue, and I think maybe I'm gonna pull that out and wear it this summer because it's so fantastic. Let me know down below if you still have that bottle because I know a lot of you have followed me for a long time. And then OPI Tile Art Warms, the heart is a darker blue, and I wanted you to see that didn't have like a hint of purple like the other ones do. I didn't pull out You're Such a Budapest and Dreams Need Clarification and polishes like that because they're definitely lighter. They're not quite mid-tone and they're a little bit more purple leaning, but I thought I'd probably get asked, so I thought I'd mention that. So this one is a stunner, and I think you might need it. Then I can buy myself violets. Love that. Of course, I think of the song, and I think that is super creative. Love it. Love colors like this. You guys know how much I love these purple-toned colors. I have loved them for a long time, and this, again, has the same typical OPI reliable formula that's easy to apply. It pretty much builds up in one coat. I can't remember if I'm showing you one or two in the live swatch, but I definitely did two for the picture swatch. So lovely. Let's look at the comparisons because there's so many polishes like these, and it took me a while to narrow the polishes down. So first we have Saloon in the Lagoon. That one's more pink. Flowerista is a deeper polish, a more plum leaning. Charm Dangerous is a little more plum as well, just a little bit deeper. And then Morgan Taylor Very Very Clean, which is new from their spring collection, is the closest but maybe a little more purple. And then OPI Armada Cure for Beige, which has been a favorite of mine for a long time, is also a little more purple as well. So this one is just slightly different than those. And OPI Newberry is a deeper, darker plum. There's quite a few OPIs in that color spectrum. Yeah, you'd think we'd have something exactly the same, but it is slightly different. It's a little bit more pink, which is fun. And so I will be pulling this one out. I think it's great. And it does have some white in the base, which I think makes it a little bit different, a little bit brighter. And so this is a really fantastic one too. Then we have Midnight Snack, and I love this deep, dark forest green. I wanna say forest green, but it's a little bit cooler tone, so I don't know how else I would explain that. I kinda of wanna look up <laughs> different color names. I wanna get a little more creative in how I'm describing these colors. But man, I will wear a green anytime. I remember when Essie Off Tropic came out, and it was from the summer collection, and I loved it. And this, of course, reminds me of that. So while people might think this is kind of weird for summer, I think it's great. And I probably will wear it, although I do typically wear these more in the fall. But I'm just glad OPI came out with this one. It's really, really nice. It's a really buildable, glossy, curly green that's opaque in two coats. Let's 
look at those comparisons. You know how much I love all these greens. They're all really stunning. So front runner, people are always looking for a dupe for that. I would say this one's very close. Front runner is a little more yellow tone, so I do like Midnight Snack a little bit more, but I love front runner, you guys. It's a really awesome polish. And so I think this Midnight Sauce Snack one, or sauce, I think this Midnight Snack one is a great one. And then Off Tropic is a little bit lighter and then Stylonomics is a little bit darker but it is more close in color tone. So it is a little bit different than Off Tropic and it is a little bit deep and rich and I will be pulling this off as we transition into fall for sure. Lovely deep green. OPI definitely needs to add a couple more darker greens and this one's really great. This is Pride and a brown. So interesting. They've been doing so many browns I feel like the last like two or three years in their summer collections. This one's really great for fall though. I'll definitely be wearing this more in the fall time. It's got a nice, typical, glossy OPA formula as well that builds up in two coats, and I do like this one. It is a little bit warmer toned, and it totally just reminds me of like coffee beans or something. So it's a little warmer, but it, it's like a hint cool. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see how it compares, because I was surprised that it was a little bit different and a little bit darker than some of the other ones we have. So I have a lot of OPIs that are dark like this and rich, but they're more cool toned, and I love them so much. So I pulled out all my earthy kind of warmer brown tones so I have Orly don't be suspicious love that polish so much one of my favorite dark warm browns and I was surprised how light it is compared to pride so I'm grateful for that and then odd squad is darker and cooler and then OPI brown to earth is a darker and cooler too even though that one's a little bit warm but this one's definitely warm and dark and rich and beautiful and I will be pulling this out in the fall I don't think I'm gonna wear this in the summer because this is not typical to what I crave in the summertime but definitely for fall then OPI gave us two reds <laughs> Do we need two reds? I don't know, we'll see. This is Stop at Nothing. So this one is a more muddy, <laughs> We got the muddy thing going on here. This one is a little bit more muddy. It does have a little bit of red in it too, but it's not quite as muddy orange as some of the other OPIs that they have. This formula is really nice though too. It builds up super, super at two coats and it's super glossy. So let's get into comparisons. So I compared it to Susie Needs a Locksmith and that one's more orange and lighter. Wrist Takers Only is pretty close, almost exact I would say from Essie. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. And then OPI Good Mandarin is hard to find is a little bit different as you can see here. I feel like this is a fallish color too. I probably won't wear this in the summer, but it is a warmer shade. So it's interesting that we're getting all these kind of warm fall leaning shades, but this is this kind of muddy orange. Then we have You've Been Red, and this is an orange leaning red with that amazing Crelly formula that's just so fun to work with. So this was really fun and easy to apply. I wore this right after I swatched this collection just because I wanted to see how it looked on my skin tone because sometimes when they're more orange leaning I don't like them and I like them it depends on how warm I am <laughs> it's been a little bit cooler this week so my hands get a little more purple toned and so I didn't love it at times but then there were times that it looked really good on my skin tone I feel like my skin tone changes for sure depending on how warm or cold I am I liked it and like I said the formula is really nice but there were times where I was like eh not for me so I do like the pink leaning ones a little bit more and let's see how it compares because OPI does have quite a few shades that are like this so I have rust and relaxation that one's pretty much an exact polish even with the formula and then living on the boulevard is the lightest coral and then OPI red Vival city is a little more orange so you can see the differences there maybe a little different I don't know just in minute pipes go and come say hi come on did I leave you? Did you wonder where I went? <laughs> okay. We'll end with you. That's a good place to end, huh? Oh, that's my girl. Yeah, we're gonna go outside and play in the yard and plant flowers, okay? We'll do that in a minute. Okay. Alright, so that's this polish. I liked it, but like I said on my skin tone, not my favorite. Okay, get your bum down. <laughs> Get your pump down. <laughs> There's that. Now you want to go out. Hang on. You just got to wait a minute. These are my favorites, which is interesting. I'll definitely be wearing these in the fall and these in the summer. So I've got the coral, which is my me era. Then I have dreams come blue, the brown, which is pride, and the green midnight snack. So 
So those are my favorites. Let me know down below what favorites are yours and hopefully this was helpful in helping you decide if you want to pick any up. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like as you head out and subscribe if you haven't. That would be really helpful for me and we will see you in my next review. I'm hoping to get it up pretty soon. So uh, right now I'm going to head out in the backyard and get all my flowers planted. Being sick kind of put me back a couple days but I'm going to go do that now. So we'll see you guys. Have a great day. Bye.